Hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School. We're going to go through some of the major, major faults and some of the most common faults you're going to come across your driving test. So go through the clips. Make sure you don't commit these mistakes in your driving test. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It's only a button. Click the button. It makes a big difference to our channel. Thanks for watching. Let's go through some of the major faults you may come across in your driving test. The start of your driving test can be extremely nerve-wracking and difficult. And because of the nerves, maybe it's your first test, maybe it's uncomfortable having a driving examiner sit next to you examining you, you might commit a major fault at the start of your driving test. Here we have an example where the student, for some bizarre reason, commits a, such a horrendous major fault and you're going to see why. Let's go through it. Now it's possible some driving test centers they don't have a car parking spot so you might be parked like this on the right or on the main road. So as you drive off I know you're going to be nervous but you can't make this mistake here. So you're coming across your first junction and look there's a pedestrian walking across and look what the student does. The examiner has to suddenly intervene and press the brake. How did they miss the pedestrians they're right in front of your eyes. So let's replay it back. As you can see, before we even reach the junction, we've now committed a major fault. You can see the sudden braking, hence the examiner had Control. to intervene. Are you here, man? <laughs> As you can hear from the student, they didn't even notice the pedestrian, even though it was right in front of them. Now, as a teacher, we've seen this happen and purely due to the fact that it could be nerve wracking as it's your first test. In the first few minutes, this could happen. So make sure you try to get an hour lesson before you do your driving test so that you can get all the mistakes out of the way um, in the hour lesson. And when you do your start your test, try your best to stay calm. Take it a bit easy in the first few minutes. Here's another major fault that's going to happen in your driving test. So we're doing some roundabouts, mini roundabouts, and it's one of the easiest major fault, one of the most silliest major fault that you may commit in your driving test. Now, it may seem a bit patronizing what we're trying to say, but we're not being patronizing. We're just showing you how easy it is to make this mistake in the driving test. You're going to be shocked by it. So we're approaching this roundabout. We've got two clips playing here. We're just going to pause it to show you where the mistake occurs. So as we're driving, here's a mini roundabout. You're turning left here. Some examiners may call it straight as you're going round the bend. Did you spot the mistake? We've slowed down the clip to give you a bit more time to think about the situation. As you're approaching the roundabout, if you look to your right now, this car is indicating right. So we don't have the priority. The student had a lapse of concentration. The examiner had to intervene and stop. The student had a lapse of concentration and thought that they were in the one in the priority. But really and truly, this car was indicating right. So we have to stop and give way to the right. It can happen to anybody in the driving test. Um, a lapse of concentration and you commit a major fault and fail your test, unfortunately. Let's go through this major fault in your driving test. You make one major fault and you fail your driving test. So we've got a situation here. We're driving towards this white car in front of us. It seems relatively easy. All you're doing is driving in a straight road. But look how easy it is to make this major fault. It could happen to anyone. As you're driving, you got, you got a nice gap between us and the car in front. You can see the car braking with his brake lights on. You gotta keep clear sign. You have to be alert. Is there space to go ahead of the keep clear? Seems like it. And did you see that sudden braking? Now the examiner has intervened in this situation. You're gonna notice now the car just edge forward slightly. I do feel the car thinks that we're a bit too close to them. So from the, you can see now there's a nice little gap. Now from the uh, camera's perspective, you might think there was enough space. There was no need for the harsh braking. We're just going to replay and show you exactly why that occurred in the driving test. When you're driving, you should be planning ahead. So as soon as you saw the keep clear, don't take the gamble and roll forward. Make sure there's enough space. 
Now their student was good enough to be extremely slow, but they kept rolling and rolling and rolling. And remember, the examiner can't see the front of their car. Most likely, they're driving. They're examining different students and different cars. So the way to judge when you're sitting down, if you have a trained driving instructor, they would have taught you tires and tarmac. So you want to be able to see the bottom of his tires and a li little bit of the road. And the reason why the student edged so far close was they were trying to get away from the keep clear box. But in doing so, they got a bit too close to the car in front. Hence why. This car now is trying to edge a bit further forward. You're going to see them move forward a little bit. Now, obviously, it's a judgment call. The examiner felt that they got a bit too close and put on the brakes in order to stop us rolling any further forward towards this car, leading us to hit the car. So anyway, guys, make sure you plan ahead and don't get too close to the vehicle in front. This will be considered a major fault in the driving test. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. One of the best ways of passing your driving test is to learn from other people's mistakes. Or in this case, you can watch the videos and learn from the mistakes on the video. So you're going to come across this situation in your driving test. Very, very easy to make this mistake. As you're driving, you have to notice there's a bend around this road. So do not go straight here. The way to tell is by the giveaway lines. You can see giveaway lines. So the student does well to turn around the bend. But now they're about to go into the bus lane. You can see and then suddenly they get moved out now in this situation the examiner uh, forced the student out sometimes the examiner may allow you to use the bus lane when it's not in operation and then tell you at the end that you shouldn't have been using it and have committed a major fault now as a teacher we know exactly why this happened especially if you don't know the area that's why it's really important to go to the area and practice as you're driving, you're so focused on trying to figure out where the road is. Once you realize it's the bend, you're going to miss this sign here on the left. You can see the bus lane sign. And as you get closer, you're going to see there's no timings on it. Therefore, the bus lane is in operation throughout the whole day. You cannot be using it. But maybe the student is so focused in trying to figure where to go, they finally realize and then totally forgot to... Um, check out the bus in terms. There is another sign on the left there and as the sign has no timings on it We're not allowed to use the bus lane. So had they used it, which they were about to use They would have committed a major fault in the driving test because the examiner intervene is also counted as a major fault It's really important to understand how driving examiners mark So I'm going to show you a clip here and show you if this is a major fault or not so the driver here is taking the third exit. As they're driving, they're approaching the roundabout. And you can watch you can watch other drivers and see if they make a mistake and affect you. If they do, you can see how examiners will mark the other drivers. So as you're driving, you're taking the third exit. You're on the right lane, correctly so. Now, in the driving test, if you take over anybody's priority or affect someone's driving, you would fail your driving test. So you can see the learner driver ahead of us, this white car. As us driving across, we had to slow down for the learner driver ahead of us. As we're moving across, we had to slow down. Therefore, the learner driver ahead of us affected us. So if that was a student on the driving test, it could be considered a major fault depending on the examiner. If they fell, they affected the driver behind us or the driver on the right as we had the priority. So I'm trying to say to you when you're doing your driving test, if you were this learner driver ahead of us, is to either speed up and get out of the way of anybody on your right, or if you're not sure, don't make the call to go into the random. But it's one of the hardest part of the driving test, whether to enter the random or not, to make that decision. It can be tricky, so make sure you enter it and don't slow anybody down, or don't go in the first place if you're not sure. We're going to come across another mistake. Um, if you keep watching now, we're going to be turning right at this traffic light. Both of us, the learner driver ahead of us and us driving. You're going to see the learner driver coming to a stop almost. Look at the learner driver the turning right. They're coming to a stop. But they have to wait in the middle of the road. If it's a green circle, you go to the middle of the road. So now they've gone in slowly. Now look, the lights change and us, the driver... We decided to wait almost and we were prompted to move across. If we don't move across, 
um, you'll fail your driving test because you're on the middle of the crossroad. We're just going to replay the clip. This is a crossroad, you're turning right, both of us. If it's a green circle, you go to the middle of the road and wait. If you wait behind the line, you will fail your driving test. So the learner is now being pushed to go. And if you're in the middle of the road now and the lights change to red as it's about to change now, you cannot just sit around. You have to go, you have to go because the cars on the other side of you are going to come out. As you're going to see on the right here, they're now going to go, they're going to have the green light. 